we thought it was important to, to gather here for the Lieutenant Governor to make her announcement with the uh, site directly behind us uh, that will be developed by NeighborWorks and is, is a really exciting project coming to downtown Brockton. And we'll let Rob talk a little bit more about the project in detail uh, when we get him up here. But um, the fact that the administration made the commitment to uh, refund the Brownfields Fund with the support of our legislature is critical to cities like Brockton because cities like Brockton across the Commonwealth the at the key of all of our redevelopment is being able to bring back to life inner city sites that we're constantly dealing with pollution that may have existed there for decades and has been an obstacle to us being able to redevelop and we think about some of the brownfield sites here in the city of Brockton that just recently uh, we've been able to turn long-term negatives into positives so the Charlie Tattaglia Park that we just uh, rededicated recently at the southern end of the downtown, a former brownfield site that's now brought green space back to a neighborhood in transition and really helped us stabilize that neighborhood. And 80% of that governor, uh, Lieutenant Governor, sorry, a little premature, <laughs> Lieutenant Governor, <laughs> Lieutenant Governor, a little, 80% uh, of that money was a state parks grant that allowed us to do that project combined with some CDBG money. And the Thatcher Street landfill, classic example of a brownfield, we've just brought online uh, a solar uh, project there. And even most recently, the site of the fire last year of the, uh, the furniture factory that left us with a giant lot of contaminated rubble in a high profile location. And with the state DEP working with EPA, we're ready to clean, we've cleaned up that site, just completed this past week, and that site will be now very attractive for redevelopment instead of being a pile of polluted rubble. So I guess I mentioned these stories, Lieutenant Governor, just to emphasize the importance in cities like Brockton that we don't have the local funds to take on these brownfield sites, but with the help of the, uh, with the state and your administration, if we can get the money for the assessment and for the cleanup of the brownfield, then we can go forward with redeveloping these sites. And the site behind us uh, is a great example, the site of the former Kresge department store, if you've lived in Brockton long enough, uh, but also a site that had been vacant for about 10 years. Uh, so it uh, worked out great as a movie set uh, for a week or two. Uh, but beyond that, this really is another linchpin in our uh, downtown action strategy being able to redevelop this project and particularly with the model that NeighborWorks is uh, using with a classic mixed-use piece of development. So the Lieutenant Governor is here to announce uh, a number of grants for communities like Brockton across uh, the state. We're excited that uh, you chose Brockton as the location to announce these grants, Lieutenant Governor, and I'd like to turn the microphone over to you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. It's an honor to always be here in the city of champions uh, with your great mayor, Mayor Carpenter, and his leadership team. I'm also pleased to be here with George Durant, who will speak in a few moments about his work in this uh, transformative development uh, neighborhood. And to uh, see all of you here, you are part of the leadership team that is leading this city forward. Uh, on behalf of our administration, I spend a fair amount of time in our cities and towns across our Commonwealth from the largest to the smallest, from Berkshires to the islands and every community in between. And I want to thank you on behalf of the governor, uh, from, from me and our administration, how much we appreciate what you're doing each and every day, from City Hall to the nonprofits to the businesses that are here on Main Street. Uh, you wake up every day in this community. You care about this community. You believe in her future. And we need to know that this leadership team is intact and in place and encouraged and inspired and motivated uh, to help this city rise to the level that it so deserves to be at. I want to thank the mayor. He is very, very skilled at uh, articulating uh, and calling on our administration for support uh, when there are initiatives and projects and places where we need to put our investments. Uh, what's great about uh, the city is that you have this plan, you have this vision, especially for the downtown area, and that you're now seeing it become a reality. Uh, I was happy to just 
take a few moments with the mayor and see down the street the $1.2 million of MassWorks funding that we've invested linking Main Street to the train station and beautifying the, the streetscape along that corridor. It's very meaningful. It will attract more investment on the private side. Those public-private investments work all day long. And to have uh, George Durant here, who's studying in particular the neighborhood that you're looking to transform into the new kind of neighborhood you want to see for this city, is critical. He's tasked with this uh, project 24-7 to think about it, to work with you, to study it, and then to put the plan together. And that plan is not just something that is on paper that will sit on a shelf up at City at Hall. It's our responsibility together to breathe life into that plan and to see it become a reality, which is part of what we're here to, to talk about today. Uh, about a year ago, uh, we in our administration worked with our legislative counterparts to pass a, an economic development bill. It was, a, it was about a, almost a year to the end of July. Uh, I know my counterparts uh, in the legislature are very busy at the State House today working through matters as they complete this week's work for the, the legislature and would otherwise be here. But I want to thank them for helping our administration's economic development vision now become a reality. In that development bill are a number of different ways that we can partner with you. Uh, certainly monies for housing, affordable housing, market rate housing, which soon you will be seeing developed uh, on this site. There is monies for more MassWorks grant, the highest levels programmed uh, for MassWorks infrastructure. Those are the dollars for underground utilities and traffic signals and the things that, you know, in private companies come here to want to develop sites, they want to know that the state has a, a piece of this, including the city, to get this stuff done. That's the 1.2 million down the street, and there's obviously more investments we can make like that here as well. And today, we're talking about brownfields dollars. We were able to, in that bill passed a year ago, reauthorize $45 million for brownfields. And this group understands what a brownfield is, but for those that are, are listening today from home or elsewhere, a brownfield is, is a, a site that has uh, potentially some contaminants that is a barrier to a further development. So the state can invest dollars like we are today uh, into these properties to help them achieve a level of cleanliness so that then development can take place on it. When you have a parcel like this developed into uh, new housing, you're actually bringing new tax dollars into the city as well. And so you're taking an undeveloped, unused parcel of land, cleaning it up, transforming it, adding a mix of housing and retail, which brings more tax revenue to the city of, of, of Brockton. All day long, uh, that works. So I'm very pleased to be able to uh, stand here with all of you in Brockton to highlight your success and to use Brockton as an example to other communities in our Commonwealth about how to do these things. Uh, you were ready for this kind of investment and you're, you have identified a partner that can work with you. Now, uh, the fund has advanced activities leading to the creation of more than 4,400 jobs, 2,750 housing uni units through this fiscal year and the $45 million obviously uh, is being used to uh, invest in projects like this across our Commonwealth and today I'm very pleased to be able to announce $1.5 million in Brownfield redevelopment funds awarded to nine communities this year. Uh, obviously, we're here in Brockton, and we want to thank a NeighborWorks uh, for your partnership here to see this now become uh, the home uh, for many individuals, affordable units, market rate units, and retail uh, uh, units to bring entertainment, restaurants, and things that people uh, want to need here on Main Street that all adds and enhances their quality of life. And I also want to recognize that we're making investments like this in your neighboring gateway cities like uh, Lawrence and Gardner and uh, also to the places like the town of East Bridgewater, to the town of Seekonk and in my hometown area in the central part of the state in Worcester. 
So I want to congratulate you because we just don't award these grants. You compete for them, you have to be well positioned for them, and then you need the plan to put them to use. Uh, we know that you're doing that here in Brockton. We're very proud of what you're accomplishing here. And the governor and I and our team look forward to continuing to invest and support your goals here in the City of Champions. Thank you again to the mayor. And now I'd like to turn this over to George to highlight a few more details on this project. Thank you very much, Lieutenant Governor. Uh, it's great to have you in the fine city of Brockton on this beautiful day. Uh, so my name is George Durante, and I am with Mass Development. I'm the Transformative Development Fellow uh, that works on downtown Brockton, uh, as the Lieutenant Governor mentioned. Um, I'm here today to represent our agency uh, and, and to make an important announcement that uh, the agency now has Lauren Liss uh, appointed as, as our new president and CEO. Uh, she couldn't be here today. Uh, she doesn't start work till September, uh, but I, I know that she is definitely ready to hit the ground running and, and get out to Brockton and all the other communities that we serve uh, across the Commonwealth. As the state's finance and development agency, uh, we have a number of diverse tools uh, that are creative uh, in, in terms of financing, like bonds and loans. We make real estate investments. Uh, and, and close to my heart, uh, we also operate the Transformative Development Initiative, or TDI. Uh, TDI is really about partnerships and, and building strength within the community through those partnerships. And I'd say here in Brockton, we have one of the strongest in the Commonwealth. Uh, I look out in this crowd here and I know I've worked with 90% of you, which is fantastic to see. Uh, so as a community, we can revitalize downtown Brockton. We've seen a lot of great progress so far. Uh, you see the, the art exhibit behind me. Uh, we brought Fuller Craft into the mix with the Brockton Redevelopment Authority and the city of Brockton to pay for that with DIF funds. Great work. We've also created the Greater Brockton Young Professionals Group, which is the first group of its kind to really unite our young professionals that work in and around the Brockton region and really kind of mobilize them as a resource and keep them here uh, to, to really make, make sure that we have a, a steady pipeline of talent that lives and works and plays in Brockton. So we're definitely grateful to have NeighborWorks enter the fold. They've been here for a long time. Uh, operating on Legion Parkway, but now there's a whole other dynamic that we can begin to engage with them fully. Uh, Tim Doherty's here, we've, we've had many conversations, uh, and, and we look forward to great things here. This site has long been vacant, uh, as the mayor said. Uh, we as Mass Development are happy uh, and pleased to invest uh, some more Brownfields funding here, uh, and you know we really look forward to this mixed-use development. Uh, and, and having the additional retail spaces on the ground floor, which is really what we're driving forward and really uh, continuing the momentum that we've been striving for as a city uh, for a number of years now. So I would like to uh, say that we're grateful to have Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito here uh, to join us. Uh, and without the Baker Polito uh, leadership and, uh, and the legislature, Mass Development couldn't do what we do. Uh, so we're, we're eternally grateful that, for that and, and thank you for your ongoing support. I'd also like to thank the City of Brockton and the Mayor uh, for his leadership and, and downtown vision. Uh, he has been a champion for TDI through and through for us, uh, which we, we certainly appreciate. Uh, and finally, I'd like to thank NeighborWorks for making the choice to invest in downtown Brockton. Uh, I think we're going to do great things together and I really look forward to working with you. So I'll turn it back to the Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, George. I think that uh, when we look back, uh, Rob May, the city planner, and I uh, began working together three years ago now. And uh, at the end of about our first year, we applied when you first created the uh, Transformative District Initiative. And we weren't awarded a TDI district, but we were awarded a planning grant, which became instrumental in helping us uh, develop the uh, downtown action strategy. And I really felt that in the second year, we were finally being recognized by the state that we had our act together and we had a plan and a vision for the downtown when we were awarded uh, a transformative district. And uh, we certainly appreciate the fact that we've got George here to work with us for three years and he's been instrumental for us in our plans for the downtown. Uh, NeighborWorks has also been a great partner uh, to the city. Uh, we have an outstanding relationship. We've partnered on a number of initiatives 
And when uh, they came to me and let me know that they were ready to pick up the ball and run with 121 Main Street and develop it into what we had all envisioned could be a great project, uh, we knew, uh, as George said, that we had the right partner for the project. So at this time, I'd like to welcome up uh, from NeighborWorks to tell us a little bit more about the project, Mr. Rob Corley. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, again, I'm Rob Corley. I'm the Executive Director of NeighborWorks Southern Mass. Um, and very honored to be here today uh, as we celebrate this award for mass development. Uh, behind us is 121 Main Street, as was described. This will be a mixed-use development of retail and apartments. Um, we're a community development corporation, and uh, we're also a real estate development corporation. And um, working with the mayor uh, as a partner, as a real estate developer, you want to know you have someone you can trust, someone you can work with, someone that's willing to roll up their sleeves, sit down, and get creative because these, these projects are difficult and they require a lot of different sources. And um, your leadership, Mayor, and being willing to work with us to do things like that, uh, it permeates through your team, through Robert May, um, Robert Jenkins. Uh, the entire city um, team has been so helpful in making us feel comfortable and in investing in a site like this. Um, I'd also like to thank the local city council. Uh, I think we have Tom Monahan here, uh, local city councilor. Tom, thank you so much for your support on this project. A round of applause for Tom. Um, and yeah, yeah, and I think we have uh, Shana here and Shirley. How? Thank you very much. Uh, they they came and spoke at, at, for the project and for the hearing. Without their, your support, uh, we wouldn't be able to do this. Um, and also the, uh, the state delegation was mentioned, um, and in particular I'd like to call out uh, Senator Brady for his support of NeighborWorks and also of this particular project. That $45 million that would they allocated for brownfield funding is so crucial for sites like this. Without it, it's first money in. Without it, we really couldn't do what we need to do here. Uh, it's very difficult to get the sources together to do these projects, um, and without that brownfield's money, for all CDCs, actually, uh, across the Commonwealth, it's, it's crucial. So I want to thank Senator Brady for doing that. And I know that he's uh, today also hoping, hope, hopefully approving our CITC funding as well. So Senator Brady, thank you very much. Um, I'd also, uh, getting back to sort of the Lieutenant Governor, I, my coworker Brian Moriarty here uh, says uh, that whenever the Lieutenant Governor comes to Brockton, she's always delivering good news. So thank you very much, Lieutenant Governor, for, uh, for you and um, uh, the Governor's support of brownfields and I, and I encourage you to continue to make it very flexible and usable and easy to use in uh, gateway cities and other areas because as I mentioned it's really important. Um, and then lastly I, I just want to uh, thank our board of directors uh, you know that especially our Brockton residents that are here I know Dave Farrell is here um, and a couple other board members are here uh, without their support and patience as we go through these projects um, uh, this wouldn't be possible um, and also on, on, a, on the staff level, uh, Tim Doherty, our real estate development director, also very creative, working very hard to uh, make projects like this work. And our local Brockton uh, director, Brian Moriarty, again, been working in the city here in Brockton for, for many years, working hard on all the challenges that are put in front of us. Um, and we're very excited to be part of such a, uh, maybe a small part of the renaissance of the uh, downtown of Brockton. So we're, we're excited to be here and thank you all very much. We have the Lieutenant Governor present you with the check. One second. So as much as I get excited when the Lieutenant Governor comes down with good news, I really prefer when she brings the checkbook with her. <laughs> so that's the case today. We want to invite the Lieutenant Governor up to, to make the check presentation for the grant. So we're going to present it to Rob. We, we are. So here's the check right. and here's the presentation. All right. <laughs> and uh, you showed, the others are in the mail, literally. And uh, why don't we come here and just express our, our thank you for taking this on. I look forward to seeing it in pro progress when it's constructed and coming back when it's open for business. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's ready for deposit. Yeah, it's, it's a real check. It's a real check. It's a real check.